Hey everyone, Edward here and welcome to Windows Report. And in this video I will show you how to fix the critical process died blue screen of death error in Windows 11. The first solution that should be tested out is to reinstall or update your drivers. To do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the context menu. Afterwards in the device manager window simply locate the driver you think is causing the trouble and right click it. Lastly choose uninstall device from the menu and then the uninstall button from the confirmation prompt. Once the driver is removed just restart your PC and check if the problem is resolved. Another great solution is to access safe mode. Beware that this won't fix the problem but in case you won't be able to boot your system you will need to proceed with the given solutions while in safe mode. So, to enter safe mode, simply restart your PC a couple of times during the boot. But I best recommend simply clicking the restart button in the power icon while holding the shift button on your keyboard. This will take you directly to the advanced Windows options menu. In here, select troubleshoot from the list of options, then navigate to advanced options. Next, click on startup settings, then finish with clicking on the restart button. In the following list of options, press 5 on your keyboard to start in safe mode with networking. Your PC will then start in safe mode. You can also run the built-in troubleshooters. To do this, click the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and in the next window select system from the left pane, then troubleshoot from the right pane. In here, simply select the other troubleshooters option. Lastly, run a couple of troubleshooters you think the context of the problem fits in with and check if they manage to fix the problem. Another useful solution is to use SFC and DISM. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select Windows Terminal as administrator. Then, in the next window, run the following command. Wait for the scan to finish, restart your PC and check if the problem is still there. And if the issue still appears, start the terminal again and run the following command. Lastly, check if the problem still persists. You can also remove problematic updates if the error still shows up. Press the Windows button, then type run and select it from the search result. Then in the run window, simply type appwiz.cpl and click OK or press enter. A new window called Programs and Features will show up. In here, just go to View Installed Update, then simply click the update you want to remove and select the Uninstall option. If you have more recent updates, notice you might have to repeat this procedure with each update in order to fix the problem. And lastly, the solution that will probably fix everything but comes with a completely clean slate is resetting Windows 11. Click the Windows button, then select the Settings icon, and afterwards, make sure to click System from the left pane and then on the right side, scroll down until you find and select the Recovery option. Now click on the Reset PC button. Make sure you decide which options you want to go with, then simply reset the PC. This one will really change your whole system, so make sure to choose your settings carefully. And that was it, plenty of options to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.